very good afternoon to the members of Vinay Cement Limited, Board of Directors, Management Personnel, Auditors, Scrutinizer. I, Rachna Goria, Company Secretary of Vinay Cement Limited, attending this meeting from Delhi, welcome you all to the 36th Annual General Meeting of the company, being held through video conferencing facilitated by National Securities Depository Limited. I hope you all and your loved ones are safe and healthy and are also fully vaccinated. This meeting is held through video conferencing in compliance with the circulars issued by Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India. The members attending this EAGM through video conferencing facility are counted for the purpose of reckoning the quorum. Person to the Articles of Association of the Company and the Provisions of the Companies Act, since there is no chairman, the directors present shall elect one of their members to be the chairman of the meeting accordingly. Directors present in the meeting may please elect the chairman of the meeting. Up mute for energy. Yeah, I propose the name of Mr. Draminder Tuteja, director on the board, to be the chairman of this meeting. I agree. Thank you. So, Mr. Tuteja is now requested to please chair the meeting. Thank you, Rachna. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for your valuable time for participating in this uh, AGM and uh, coming to vote. I welcome you all, and especially my fellow members on the board of directors, the management personnel, auditors, and the scrutinizer to this 36th AGM of VCL, which is being convened electronically through VC mode. The company has taken all steps to enable members to participate through VC and uh, vote at the AGM. We have the requisite quorum present to conduct the proceedings of this EAGM. So I, I accordingly call this 36th AGM of VCL to order. However, before we start with the formal proceedings of the meeting, I request uh, Rashma, the company secretary of the uh, company, to first introduce the members of the board who are attending this AGM. Rashna, please go ahead. Sure. All the board members and management personnel are attending the meeting through video conferencing from different locations. Mr. Tuteja, director and chairman of audit committee, is attending the meeting from Delhi. Mr. Ganesh Jirkuntwar is attending the meeting from Odisha. Mr. Naveen Jam, an independent director and chairman of nomination and remuneration committee, is attending the meeting from Guru Ram. Mr. Vikram Rukalia, I think, has not been able to join the meeting. Mr. Padmanav Chakravarti, manager of the company, is attending the meeting from Guwahati. And Mr. Das Gera, secretarial auditor and scrutinizer, is attending the meeting from, the, from Delhi. Thank you, Rashna. So please go ahead to conduct the further proceedings of the AGM as per the protocol. Thank you. Dear members, please be informed that the e-voting facility on the resolution proposed in the notice of annual general meeting has been enabled and shall remain enabled for 15 minutes thereafter. Those members who have not voted through remote e-voting during June 26 to June 29, 2022 could use the e-voting facility and complete their voting. Mr. Vikas Gera, company secretary, has been appointed by the board of directors as scrutinizer to ensure that the e-voting process is conducted in a fair and transparent manner and to scrutinize the votes cast by members through remote e-voting and e-voting during the meeting. All documents and registers referred to in notice of annual general meeting and required in the Companies Act, including inter alia, register of directors, key manager of personnel, and their shareholding, and register of loans are available electronically for inspection by the members. As the AGM is being held through video conference, the facility for appointment of proxies by members is not available. Members are requested to refer to the instructions provided in the notice or appearing on the video conference page for a seamless participation through video conference. In case members face any difficulty, they can reach out to the helpline members. As the notice of this annual general meeting has already been circulated to all the members, with the permission of chair, we would like to take the same as read. Go ahead. Thank you. With the permission of Chair, we will now take up the items as set forth in the Notice of Annual General Meeting in Seriatum. Yeah, please go ahead. The ordinary business set out in the Annual General Meeting Notice pertains to two items. Item number one is to consider and adopt the audited standalone and consolidated financial statements of the company for the financial year ended March 31, 2022, and the reports of the auditors and directors thereon. The financial statements and reports of the auditors and directors thereon have already been circulated to all the members. There is no qualification, reservation, or adverse remark in the statutory auditor's report of Deloitte Haskins and Sells, the statutory auditors. 
on the financial statements. The notes on financial statements referred to the in, in the auditor's report are self-explanatory and do not call for any comments and explanation. The auditors have not reported any matter under Section 143.12 of the Companies Act 2013. Auditors have, however, emphasized on one matter referring to note number 27B of the notes to accounts of the standalone financial statements, then note number 26B of the notes to accounts of the consolidated financial statements, which pertains to the dispute between two major group of shareholders of Calcom Civil India Limited, which is currently subjudice. Since matter is subjudice pending final outcome, no adjustments are considered necessary in the financial statement. The auditors have also drew attention towards material uncertainty of the company's ability to continue as going concern, which is explained in note number 27 of the set financial statements and is self-explanatory. Item number two is to appoint director in place of Sri Ganesh Jirkundwar, is the number is 0747980, who retires by rotation and being eligible, offers himself for reappointment. Further, the special business set out in the AGM notice pertains to two items. Item number three is to consider and appoint Shri Nadeem Jan. His DIN number is 0050183 as an independent director for the second term of up to a period of five years with effect from March 31st, 2022 by a special resolution. Item number four is to consider and appoint Shri Vikram Dhugalia. His DIN number is 0771987 as an independent director for the second term of up to a period of five years with effect from March 31st, 2022 as a special resolution. There is no other business to target. The resolutions and the explanatory statement in respect of our proposal, wherever applicable, have been provided in the notice of AGM. Further, no member has registered himself as a speaker at the platform provided by company in accordance with the instruction mentioned in the notice of the annual general meeting. Thank you, Rashna. So, since all the items of the business, as per the notice of the 36th AGM, have been taken up, I now declare the proceedings of the AGM as completed. As already mentioned, the e-voting facility will continue to be available for 15 minutes after the end of the meeting. I request and authorize the company secretary to declare the result of the voting upon receipt of the scrutinizer's report by placing the same on the website and the notice board of the company at the earliest, but not later than Saturday, 2nd July. On behalf of the board and management of ECL, I convey sincere thanks to all the members for attending and participating in this meeting. Stay healthy and safe. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I shall do the need to today again. And thank you all for attending the meeting. And I hereby give a vote of thanks to the chair. And on behalf of Vinay Seaman Committee, on, on my own behalf, thank you to the chairman, the board of directors, auditors, scrutinizer, and valuable members of the company for making this EAGM a success and extending your full support. Thank you once again. Thank you very much.